in the one month that you have been in office since July 1, what else have you accomplished that your, your predecessor did not accomplish within the first month of his office? Let's go now to social amelioration. Uh, yung social amelioration namin, uh, ako, sa awa ng Diyos, maraming salamat sa mga taga Maynila. Binigyan nila ako ng vice mayor, nakakampi. Binigyan nila ako out of 36, 24 na konsihal. So you can run the city the way you want it? At ang naging resulta po, ang mga kompromiso ko, halimbawa, uh, let's just say, uh, yung aking uh, uh, social pension sa senior citizen. Okay. Then we saw PWDs and uh, solo parent. Okay. So we included them the social amelioration. Right. At napasa yung batas. Then we came up with uh, yung isang kompromiso namin, allowance ng estudyante. Then uh, uh, yung tax plan namin, uh, yung amnesty was approved and I signed it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Ang kompromiso ko September. It's my personal concept na wherein from what I believe, no, 1,000% times zero is still zero. Mm -hmm. If we are not collecting because people cannot pay because hanggang langit ang halaga ng real property tax mm -hmm. sa, sa Maynila. Okay. So I would rather get the principal, just pay the principal, tabla na tayo sa interest, surcharges, and penalties. Kanila na yan. Let them pay. How much will that cost? About 1.8 billion. 1.8 billion. Eh, kasasabi nyo lang na your money in City Hall, 5 billion, is not even enough to pay for your current debt. So, where are you going to get that money? This will be implemented on January 1. Where are you going to get the money from August 1, 2019 to December to pay for all that? We will not implement this thing because I am now facing an, an existing budget done by the previous administration. Okay. I cannot just change things, general appropriation. What we did is because lahat ng pangarap ko sa mga taga Maynila, kailangan ng inibing law. So instead, nagawin ko yung mga batas na yun, next year, uh, i-request ko sa konseho, uh, pinapasa ko na lahat ngayon. Okay. Come September, come October, LFC will convene and there is an existing law that we can i-attach, -i isama namin as a matter of policy. Pero saan nyo kukunin? Binabaan nyo na nga yung land tax. For this year. Imagine, you are talking about new expenditures and you are reducing your revenues. Just ko, that is, seems to be a recipe for Collapse. financial disaster. Uh, one, it's not true. What do you mean it's not because true? Because 72% lang ang efficiency namin at 14 billion. Okay. If I can raise it at uh, easily 8%, that's about 80%. So 8% of 14 billion. Yung in yung executive order, creating a business uh, one-stop one shop. shop, eh walang sinasabing you was do it in one day. And I can challenge anybody, try nila. New. New. Okay. Renewal is about 54,000 foot traffic. Uh -uh. I cannot put them in 100 square meter at 54,000 at five days a week, uh -uh. eight hours a day. As far as business is concerned, you have assured yung mga taon sa Manila na kung gusto nilang mag-business sa Manila, mag-apply sila, in one day, makukuha nila. That's our goal. Kung merong hindi nang nakakuha ng business permit within one day, meron ba silang mat matatawagan? Yes, they can go to my office anytime. My office is like uh, palengke nowadays. Ngayon nga lang sila kakapasok sa bulwagan. Ang swerte namin ngayon, tita. Kasi di ba inaikayat ko mga netizen? O, alikat eh. I-messenger nyo kami, report to us, we protect their, ano, ano. Tas, Confidentiality. Oh, eh, talaga. With, with all honesty, a few people will see it. Then, uh, ina-absorb namin yung, ah, uh, ito sensible, ito nonsense, yeah. In other words, you are including the people of Manila and they are helping you. Yes, they Hindi are. Hindi ba ganun? Yeah. This is tedious portion of governance. Mm -hmm. We confirm, I would rather try and fail like what the saying goes, than fail not, uh, not, trying. not trying. You know, this is <clears throat> only one month. Di kaya kayo, you know, mapapagod na and say, you know, we'll just, I'll just sit back and let them do it. Tita, oh. ano pa yung reklamo ko sa buhay? E basurero lang ako dati. Mas okay. mabigat na trabaho yun. Mahirap ba to? Tanungin mo ako, hindi. Sa totoo, kasarap nga nito. Biro mo, laway pa lang, mabisa na eh. <laughs>